above the fold in Richardson today, this month. An important new transportation link opens in the Gallatin Park area. In July, the city of Richardson will officially open Ruth Creek Parkway, a new four-lane road connecting Glenville Drive to Renner Road on the east side of the Dart light rail line. This half mile long parkway is a key element in the future of traffic flow as developments like the Blue Cross Blue Shield headquarters campus move into the area. This connector that we're talking about uh, has been on the city's master thoroughfare plan for many years. With the advent of us selling Blue Cross the site and them building a major million dollar facility and thus generating a need for more traffic and more employees, uh, there was a need to build this connector that's been on the plan. The Ruth family was among the earliest homesteaders in the Richardson area, joining other well-known families like the Campbells and the Coits. The 480-foot bridge on Ruth Creek Parkway spans Spring Creek, an important site for those early Richardson residents. It was called originally the Ruth Woods, and it's where Spring Creek runs through a heavily wooded area. It was really the founding location of a lot of the Plano and Richardson development. A lot of people were baptized in Spring Creek, a lot of the early settlers of this area. Construction of the 2,700-foot-long parkway began in March of 2008. The project was made possible by a combination of public and private entities working together, with the $8.2 million cost being split between Collin County and the city of Richardson. Judge Harris and Jack Hatchell and Jerry Hoagland were on the county commissioner's court and they felt the need because of the economic impact to work with the city and do partnerships similar to the 190 and George Bush Turnpike to make this project happen. The Gallatin Park Corporation uh, donated the right-of-way for the roadway and then also donated the easements necessary for the trail construction. One of the unique features of the Ruth Creek Parkway is a 12-foot wide boardwalk style spiral ramp that connects the span to the trail system in the Spring Creek nature area below. The road itself has a dedicated extra wide outside lane on the east side to provide bicycle and pedestrian traffic access to the rest of the city of Richardson's overall trail plan. Uh, when you look at the trail linkage uh, back to the south, it gets you back into the nature preserve uh, area and then also back into the Dart Station. Uh, when looking to the north, a couple of critical links that uh, actually crosses under US 75 gets us over to the Renner Trail, which will ultimately go to the west and get into the University of Texas at Dallas. The Blue Cross Blue Shield Headquarters campus, located at the southern end of the Ruth Creek Parkway, is scheduled to be completed before the end of the year. Eventually, Ruth Creek Parkway will extend northward from Renner Road to the Bush Dart Light Rail Station. Other area roadway improvements to help ease traffic flow include recent work at the intersection of Campbell and US 75, and the next major construction project, the Texas Department of Transportation's extension of the Gallatin Parkway overpass on the west side of Central Expressway. That will be a critical link to get east-west access across the 75 corridor and, and hopefully free up some of the capacity and uh, uh, congestion at both Renner and uh, the Campbell intersection. So it gives us some other opportunities to route traffic in different directions through those improved projects. The opening of Ruth Creek Parkway provides a critical new transportation link on the east side of town. Above the fold in Richardson today, July 2009. Above the Fold in Richardson today, this month. The Convention and Visitors Bureau's new plans to promote Richardson. The City of Richardson's newly retooled Convention and Visitors Bureau is launching a campaign to promote Richardson not only to tourists from out of town, but also to longtime residents and corporate citizens. Today, the Convention and Visitors Bureau is reaching out using print, broadcast, and electronic media to attract attention with new promotional materials for the city. 
The destination guide for Richardson is a new uh, piece that we're going to be using. It's a print advertising piece that we'll also be using uh, with the flip page technology on the web. We'll be targeting and, and talking about the accommodations that we have in town, the festivals and events, the parks and trails, the, the unique venues that we have in town, the things that meeting planners look and ask for as well as uh, hidden gems in Richardson uh, that a visitor and resident may or may not know about. As the Convention and Visitor Bureau's target audience focuses beyond the traditional tourist and business travelers from out of town, they are adding services that will appeal to local businesses and residents as well, including a new year-round program called Dine Smart, Dine Local. Dine Smart, Dine Local is a uh, partnership between the Richardson Convention and Visitor Bureau and the Richardson Chamber of Commerce uh, targeted at spreading the word uh, locally and throughout the North Texas region on what Richardson has to offer from a dining perspective. This program will highlight a different Richardson restaurant each week and the participating restaurants will be prominently featured in local advertising. In addition, discounts will be offered through emails and text messages for these restaurants as the Dine Smart Dine Local program emphasizes the wide range of dining options in the Richardson area. Richardson, uh, a lot of people don't know, has opened over 50 restaurants in the last two years and is one of the more diverse uh, restaurant areas in the North Texas region or really anywhere in the country. There was just recently an article in the uh, Dallas Morning News by a national food critic talking about the diversity of restaurants in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and emphasizing that that is mostly outside the loop of 635. Richardson's central location, outstanding local facilities, and easy access to transportation by highway and light rail mass transit has long brought in business from conventions and meetings. And the city should see a new wave of visitors coming to town as the rebuilt softball and baseball fields at Huffines and Breckenridge Park host regional and state tournaments. As more people visit Richardson, the Convention and Visitors Bureau will expand to provide services like the Ambassadors Program, using citizens to answer questions or make suggestions for guests attending conventions. Another program utilizing our residents would be uh, the Ask a Local campaign. So as a visitor coming to Richardson, if you were at a hotel stay and you wanted to find out where a couple barbecue places in town were or a local Taiwanese barbecue place uh, and wanted a little review, you could reach out uh, via email uh, or a blog and be able to ask one of these residents. As visitors and tourists become more familiar with Richardson, they will discover the advantages that the local community provides to both guests and residents alike. You not only have the quality of business in Richardson, but you have excellent schools, you've got quality of life, and now with some of the things like the increase in restaurants and the opening of uh, the venue and uh, East Side and Brick Row coming, you've got excellent locations for lifestyle. For more information about Richardson, or to sign up for the Dine Smart, Dine Local program, visit the Convention and Visitors Bureau at richardsontexas.org on the web. The city encourages residents to dine smart, dine local. Above the Fold in Richardson Today, September 2009. Above the Fold in Richardson Today this month. Kicking off the holidays and looking back at 2009. As the end of the year arrives, it's time to update stories from Above the Fold over the past 12 months. In January, the Richardson Public Library was recognized for its overall excellence and recent innovations to provide patrons with updated technology and more customer-friendly conveniences. By early July, the library reached 1 million circulations for the year, the quickest it's ever reached that benchmark. And by the end of the year, the library had 150,000 circulations, more than 2008. In February, Above the Fold featured construction of a new playground at Heights Park, replacing outdated equipment that was first installed more than 40 years ago. By summertime, the new equipment was up, open, and in heavy use. The design of the playground has just been tremendous for the activities and the socialization of the kids, but it's also an adventure type playground. It's one that just leads them from one activity into another, and we've had a fantastic response from the public, particularly the kids, and that's what the playground's for is the kids. 
March focused on the volunteer efforts in support of the Richardson Police Department, including the nationally recognized Volunteers and Police Service, or VIPS, program. Each year, more than 1,000 people take part in some aspect of volunteer efforts, saving officers and staff around 32,000 hours of work. April introduced viewers to the city's Office of Emergency Management and its efforts to help keep the citizens of Richardson safe, including storm warning sirens, reverse 911 alerts, and the Know What to Do safety campaign that provides information about protecting your personal safety and the safety of those around you in case of an emergency. In May, Above the Fold highlighted the city's new green initiatives, including the launch of the GreenCore.net website as part of the city's education and outreach efforts for environmental awareness. In June, comedian and writer Pat Hazel helped introduce the shows for the 2009-2010 Eisman Center Presents series. The response has been wonderful, as Eisman Center Presents had sellouts for Cirque Shanghai, the opening show of the Family Theater series, Charlotte's Web, and seven of the eight performances of Church Basement Ladies. And there's plenty of action still to come, with shows as varied as Late Night Catechism 3, Big Bad Voodoo Daddies, the Fred Garbo Inflatable Theater Company, and many others. In July, the Ruth Creek Parkway was featured, providing an important road for access to the nearly completed Blue Cross Blue Shield facility, as well as other traffic on the east side of Richardson. The official ribbon cutting for the parkway took place on August 27th, near the unique spiral ramp connection from the hike and bike lane on the bridge to the Spring Creek Nature Trail area down below. In August, the city announced live cable and internet broadcast of the city council meetings and work sessions. These videos are also now available for replay at the city's website, cor.net. And since August, the city council chamber has been equipped with a third camera to provide better views for the home audience. September featured the newly revamped Convention and Visitors Bureau and the new Dine Smart, Dine Local program, co-sponsored by the Chamber of Commerce. This year-round campaign will highlight a different restaurant each week, showcasing the wide range of dining options available in Richardson. October focused on the Richardson City Council's Statement of Goals for the 2009 to 2011 term, including the new emphasis on governance issues and a stronger communications initiative. In November, the announcement of three new economic development projects took center stage, as the Parliament Group bought property near the Dart Light Rail Line, the Digital Realty Group plans to reinvent the Collins Business Park as a high-volume data center park, and Texas Instruments begins bringing equipment into the Richardson Wafer Fabrication Plant to start production by next spring. And above the fold in Richardson today for December, the city gets into the holiday spirit with the 38th Annual Christmas Parade and Santa's Village on the lawn at City Hall. It's just a way, frankly, for the whole community to come together and celebrate a special time of year. And I think it's important that, you know, people feel good about the community in which they live. And this is one of the great ways to do it. It's a really focus about kids. We want to be a community that is family oriented. Uh, this is one of the things that they look forward to every year. To watch any of the stories that were featured above the fold this year, visit the City of Richardson's website at cor.net slash citv. Above the fold in Richardson today, December. 2009.